Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this series of general aptitude, which will be highly beneficial for various competitive exams. Let's begin with time and work. We shall begin with defining work. Work refers to any effort required to achieve something. Now this effort could be both mental as well as physical. It is usually considered as one unit. Consider the example. It may be constructing a statue, a wall or a road. Now there are some basic assumptions such as if a certain number of days were taken by a person to do some work, then we assume that he did the exact same amount of work every day. For example, consider that a person took three days to complete a work, therefore he did one by third amount of work every single day. Moving to the next assumption which states that if there is more than one person doing the same work together, it is assumed that each person does the same amount of work each day. Now consider this, if there are two persons completing a job in two days, then, a, then one person would complete that job in four days. That's what this assumption states. Now this method is also known as unitary method. That is the time taken per unit work or the number of persons required to complete unit work. Let us move to the fundamental on variation. If time is constant, work and men are directly proportional to each other. Or if the work increases, the number of men required to complete the work in the same number of days increases too and vice versa. If work is constant, days and men are inversely proportional to each other. That is, if the number of men increases, the number of days required to complete the same work decreases in inverse proportion and vice versa. If the number of working men is constant, days and work are directly proportional to each other. That is, if the work increases, the number of days required to complete the work with the same number of working men also increases and vice versa. Now quickly moving to the question. If 15 men take 60 days to complete a job, find the time taken by 45 men to complete it. Now number of days are given as 60, number of men are given as 50. Here comes the concept of man days. Man day states that the number of men multiplied by the number of days that they take to complete the work will give the number of man days required to do the work. Now this concept comes very handy to these type of questions. So the days are 60 and the men are 15. Now we will apply the concept of man days to the problem. Multiplying days and men which gives 15 into 60 is equal to 900. Therefore, the time taken by 45 men to complete it would be 900 divided by 45 that is 20. Therefore, 20 days are taken by 45 men to complete the job. Now, we will quickly move to the next question that is if 18 men take 20 days to complete a job working for 12 hours a day, find the number of days that 15 men will take to complete it if they work 9 hours a day. So, we will Again use the concept of man days to solve this problem. So total time for which 18 men work is 12 into 20 that is 240 hours. Number of man hours required to complete a job we will just simply multiply the number of men to the hours that is 18 into 240. Now, number of days taken by 15 men working 9 hours a day would be the number of man hours divided by 15 into 9 which gives us 32. So this is how we solve these type of problem using the concept of man days. We will be uncovering every topic of general aptitude in this general aptitude series that will help you to crack entrance exam as well as competitive exams such as DUJAT, CAT, GATE and more. We have also started a machine learning series that will also help you to grasp the concept of machine learning and deep learning. So continue watching this series as well as that playlist.